Uh, this is Adam. Can someone get me a car? This is Jamie. Make it sporty. <laughs> That's cute. Drive it on in. Okay. This is Spy Car 1. Right now it's a normal car, but when we're finished with it, it's going to have all the little tricks and gadgets that any self-respecting spy car would have. This ought to do. So it's straight down to business, and the key word right now is deployment. Welcome to Jamie's Chop Shop. All movie fans know that most weapons are launched from the trunk, and a hole in the floor with a sliding trapdoor should fit the bill. Jamie's simple release can be sprung from a cord to the cockpit. It's not fancy. That ought to do it. But it works. With the car customized, it's off to the test track to load it with weapons. We're at the Alameda County Emergency Vehicle Operations Center, which is where the police practice chasing bad guys which means it's perfect for us. Of course, there's no chase without a chase car and an experienced daredevil to drive it. Morning, sir. Morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good day for a car chase? Every day is a good day for a car chase. <laughs> what is it that makes Brian uniquely qualified to perform this test with us? I ask you to cast your mind back to driving in the rain where Brian hydroplaned over 100 miles per hour and did a 720 Turn. Look at the internal camera. That impassive face on him is the face of confidence, and it is the face that will lead this test for us. If we can evade him, <laughs> we can evade anybody. Escaping a driver who's more skilled than you means disabling his car. So, what's the first trick in Adam's trunk? They may look friendly, but these are quarter-inch pieces of hot roll steel bent at right angles and welded into a tetrahedral arrangement and then sharpened. These are road spikes. Always have one point facing up. I think they're gonna be highly effective when I drop them from the back of the evading spy car. With over a hundred of these lethal little tire shredders, you might be right, but Jamie also has a point. Now I have no doubt that these tacks are gonna stick in the tires, but will they deflate the tires quickly enough to keep our spy happy? I'm not so sure. Well, first, a quick check on the rules of the chase. So, Brian, what are the criteria for escaping? If Adam's able to get far enough ahead of us that he actually loops and gets behind us, then he's gotten away. Also, if he makes a turn on the course someplace that I don't catch, and then we end up taking a different turn or a different route, then I've lost him. OK, then. The cones are lined up to mark out a long and winding road. And they're ready to rumble. OK, this is Spike on Evasion Techniques. The tax. Eat my dust. <laughs> Make no mistake, both drivers are hell bent on surviving the chase. Brian keeps a respectful distance of five or six car lengths. Hey, he's picking up a little speed. Eventually, right before a curve, Adam decides to drop his load. There we go. Despite his considerable skill, Brian's going too fast to avoid all the tacks. Yeah, they stuck in. I can hear them. But at least for the moment, the chase car shows no signs of losing momentum. We must have had about a half a dozen at least in there, and we're holding on just fine. I would take corners too fast in it, but... OK, we got you. Bang, 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 bang. So what happens, didn't, oh, I got you. Well, you did, but then you didn't. The tax went into the tires, but we were on your tail for several minutes afterwards. It didn't slow us down. I thought that as soon as you hit the tax, you'd be skidding off the road immediately. I've got flat tires, but you still didn't get away. No, I didn't get away. Yeah. Shoot, I wouldn't have called that. The tax eventually worked, but they took their sweet time. And I'll say one thing else. While I'm fagging it out on this course, hell-bent for leather, it's really disconcerting to look into my rearview mirror and see Brian, like, impassively driving after me. Like, it's not, it's like a lion playing with his food. 